We are back at it again here with another video with Invest for tomorrow. To all the first time viewers and investors, welcome to the channel. To all the subscribers, welcome back. All I ask for in return is for you to smash that like button, tell me know you watch this video. Helps out the YouTube channel and lets me know you appreciate the time and effort I put into making these videos. So here we are with CLOV stock, Clover Health Investments. A lot of people were challenging me that some covering did not happen here and that it just fell down and shorts have not covered. I personally believe that's the case. We're going to look at the data together. We're going to look at the charts together. And we're going to look at some key things here that are either driving this higher or going to go into further weakness, like we've mentioned before, because we've been watching this one together very closely all this time in this consolidation towards the new lows and that reversal there that we saw. So we're going to break it down. But before we do, I want to share with you guys the home runs of the day that I mentioned this morning over at the Discord. And that is something you can become part of as well. Check out the link down below. And we're going to jump right into it here with CLOV Stock Clover Health Investments. So the home runs of the day were spectacular, even though the stock market was pulling downwards and the S&P 500 index is slightly down in the red. We managed to find two home run opportunities that I mentioned this morning over at the Discord. If this is something that interests you, I would like to invite you to join us. Check out the link down below to the Discord. You'll become part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together through the volatility of the market. We try to do this daily. That is the goal. 5 to 10% is a regular day. 10 to 20% is a great day. And 20% plus is a home run. And we managed to find two home runs today. So these are the stocks I mentioned this morning. EFTR and GVO were the best performers. GVO turned out to be a consistent uptrend. And we're going to look at that together here. So EFTR happened in a matter of minutes, okay? Just a minute after the bell was already up 10, 15%. And three minutes after the bell, it was up 20%. It got halted and it took off to a highest point of 40% plus two times. Okay. This was up here nearly almost 45%. This was already touching 40%. And this happened in less than 30 minutes. And then it gave small jumps even after that big run and pullback of about another 10 to 20%. Now we have here GVO. We caught this one in the pre-market. It was sitting sideways. I was going to watch how I reacted after the bell, after the big news of who they partnered with. And this one went up to a highest point of 30% plus. And you could see here with 42 vision, how it would show the strength throughout even every little pullback. Because on a regular chart, these would be red candlesticks that create uncertainty or doubt, right? So with 42 vision, even if you didn't catch the first run, that little pullback right there, would give confidence, right? It gives me confidence to get in and ride it up again. That little pullback, I would hold through it and just continue until a transition would happen. And at this point here, it was up 20% plus and it hit a highest point of 30% plus on the day, guys. If this is something that interests you, check out the link down below in the description to the Discord. You'll become part of a growing community of investors and we look forward to having you join us. Let's jump into the charts. So here we are with CLOV stock Clover Health Investments, and it's actually in a downtrend, right? If we go ahead and look at it, this was the first peak. This is our second peak. And if it continues this downward trend, there's going to be a third peak and there might be a fourth peak, right? We've talked about this before in the history of the charts. One of the things that it's reminding me of, if this is something that you can compare to in the history of the chart, is this point right here. This is a smaller version of it, but it went up, pulled down, consolidated, tried to come back up. And then it fell some more. And that's exactly what we're going through right now if it continues. And that was that jump. And then it pulled down some more before it jumped again, as you could see right there in that moment. So that's a possibility. But if it doesn't work out that way, this could be on a downtrend that's going to be significant to watch. Okay, because we're going right back to where it all started. This was a pretty big move, though, from that low here of 740, 750 range all the way up to 11, 14, 11, 13, give or take. So super important as an investor to be aware of when big moves happen, you know, it tends to cool off eventually. Now, if this stock does not retest those lows way back here between $8 and 750 and 740 range, that's going to be a significant sign of strength, even though it is pulling downwards from these highs, because that is a representation of a move like it did right here. This was a nice consolidation from way down here 
and a move up here. So if this comes right back down and it consolidates within these areas, which we're going to break down in just a moment and doesn't break through these levels and stays within that and doesn't go much lower, or even if it touches down to this point right here, but stays above right a little bit where it started or a, bit, a little bit above this bottom here, we're going to see strength. Okay, it's super important to be aware of that strength is key. But right now, the way it's looking is a downward trend. And everything that it went up, it's going right back down, it tried to fight back up today. And now it's just pulling downward. So we got some key levels, like I stated to look at, we're going to break it down. And let's look at the data here. So short ratio is 0.63. That's the days to cover. And the short float is 15%. It hasn't really changed or updated here. I'm sure it's a little bit less. A lot of investors would speculate and say that it has not changed, that shorts have not covered. And that's a reasonable thought. But in the way this has moved, okay, this was a very natural upward trend, it went down because of retail consolidated. But this explosion right here, yeah, that's some shorts covering, whether it's 2%, 3%, 5%. Some shorts have covered and now it's just falling right back down and then retail is trying to fight here. You could see the bulls trying to push it up and the bears are just appearing and tearing it down in the mix with the shorts that have not covered holding their positions and the bulls themselves are handing this one right back to the bears and the shorts the lower this goes and that could be due to profit taking uncertainty doubt anything you want to call it in the scheme of all of this so right now the lowest point yesterday is key 920 if that gets broken through the next point of reference is down here at 863 i would watch and see if it could hold itself up and worst case scenario if it retests where it consolidated the last time between 820s and 860s well that is still a sign of strength from way down here way back in august 19th and august 23rd so that is something to keep in mind now, if it could stay above all of that and stay above this point right here of 921, that is going to be even more strength to the upside, continuing a staircase effect, right? From here to here to here or even down here, right? And continue to the upside over time, right? And continue that upside potential momentum and continue the move. This is what you call the move from down here to wherever it continues to go. This was pretty big, though. And that's why it's something to watch and be aware of. So to the upside, what do the bulls need to break through? Well, today's high. Today's high is significant. 1016 got rejected there and started to pull downwards. It's at 958. 1016 needs to be broken through. And the next point of reference would be up here at 1078 to then continue towards the highest point that recently got touched, which is 1112, 1113, give or take 1114 at those highs. And if that can get broken through, the next point of reference would be up here at $12. And that would be a significant point where shorts eventually that are holding and haven't covered may need to cover and it could create that explosive effect that we saw last time. Keep in mind, this broke through 10, got rejected last time it went to the eights. And once it broke through 11, broke through 12, it just took off. Now I'm not saying it's gonna exactly be the same story, but we've seen this play out time after time after time recently in the last several weeks and months that it turns into bull traps every single time and the best time to catch it is way down here okay between 8 to 750 740 and i've talked about it time after time again in my videos as always guys thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money